study and those just uh, you have to summarize them in the not more than in 15 slides because it's 15 minutes so you think about maximum 15 slide or 20 slide maximum and uh, for each one you spend time around one minute or less than one minute uh today i want i will show you some references i will talk about the history of the subjects because this is what you need and next week we will have another meetings i think in monday okay and to see how the presentation goes and what you know it will you will be present to me before that's okay okay yeah you will present to me first and i will give my feedback to you in monday next monday then uh, you have a uh, two three days to correct and to add more information and those so i will i will pre i will preparing some uh, slide from today so do you see the slide no okay uh All right, so now probably you will see my slide. Yes, I see. Introduction to Econophysics. So this is a slide that I prepare uh, from the references which I am reading. So today I will share with you around uh, 15 slides, I think, about the historical introductions. That is very important. And then I will share this file with you and you can uh, read this and add something from here to your presentation. So after that, after that, uh, next uh, coming weeks, uh, we will talk about the statistical mechanics of money distribution, the budget, or money in the markets, then the statistical mechanic of wealth distributions, who is the richer than the other one, and finally about data and models for income distribution and that. Victor, so my presentation should look similar to this, to this slide. Today we have 15 minutes slide. Okay. All right. So these uh, slides are based on some articles uh, and from some lecture notes, so which teach the, the subject before in the University of Maryland. So as you see in the slide, this is actually a review of the all the histories which I told you and you needed. Economic physics actually is a new subject uh, of the research of which uh, use the technique of statistical phys physics and mainly the thermodynamic laws to economics and finance. For economics, we already talked before about the markets, open markets, closed market, open economies and uh, closed economies. And finance, we mean the stocks markets. So economic physics, actually, the world of economic physics first uh, introduced uh, by the A.G. Stanley in 1995. It is very new subject. Before that, the word which people used was the sociophysics. Sociophysics was the, the subject which people used it before this time. In 1995, in the conference, which called it Dynamics of Complex Systems, uh, it was uh, held in Cal Calcutta. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the Stanley actually proposed the subject of economic physics. He said that they collected all the information we already know about the applying applications of statistical mechanics to the uh, to the economical process. And then. Uh, after the conference ended, the proceeding of conference published in 1996 and economic physics uh, pr presented uh, in the proceeding of conference. Uh, the first paper which published conference and uh, it is manifested uh, the principle to study the 
the study the human uh, systems or uh, social social systems using the statistical mechanics. Uh, he was the person who proposed that uh, the scaling laws, I mean, uh, the law of the physics in the different scales should remain the same, can be used uh, and useful to study the economical systems when there is uh, so many of the uh, market partners or so many of the people who contributing. After the first conference ended, so there it was a workshop in 1997 in Budapest, Hungary. So it was the international workshop of economic physics, and then it was another international workshop on economic physics and statistical finance in Palermo, Italy. And then a book appears after four years, Introduction to Economic Physics by Montagna and Stanley, and it was published and get the attention from the people. The economic physics actually proposed like the, any other subject which we have a physics with another subject. For example, astrophysics means that the studying the astrophysical object using the principle of physics or so geophysics is the study the physics of the different layer of the planets, our planet Earth and biophysics, which is a study the biological system using the statistical mechanics and others. So, actually, economic physics very much looks like the biophysics. Do you know why, why you guess? Because it's, there's many, many things contribute in the system. No, the, the things which the system is many body, it is uh, for any other systems, even in the normal physics we have. For example, quantum mechanics is also about non one particle. The similarity between economic physics, both of them are about a living organism. I mean, the, the human society is growing up, yes? So it is a rate of the change for anything which is happening in human society. Even for the COVID virus, you know, the COVID virus first, they, they was guessed that it will be end in two, three weeks when the epidemiological models would predict a, a maximum for the people who die and get the disease, and then the graph will be decreased. And they will hope that, for example, in Oman, the peak will be in the August, and then everything will appear, disappear. I don't know you know this news or not, but many things happen. Why is still the COVID virus as a biophysical effect, a biosystem effect, still remain in the world as a big challenge? Because the human society, because the interaction between the people is the dynamics. So it is actually a process which, uh, which has a dynamics. So dynamics of biological system is very much to like the dynamics of ecophysics systems, economical system. Economic physics actually is a little different from geophysics or astrophysics. The difference back to that in astrophysics, for example, the Newton gravitational law is still the important law. Yeah. Still, you know that the law, the, the different astrophysical objects attract each other. In biophysics, you all also know that something about the molecules, some, some techniques of the, some techniques of quantum mechanics like Monte Carlo, or the interaction between molecules as a charged particle can be introduced inside. But in economic physics, we don't have such phenomena. So you don't have the Newton law, or you don't have the other simple laws. The thing is that the economic physics use the mathematical methods which we use in the statistical physics to study the statistical properties of the complex systems. And as a complex system, we are talking about the markets with different partners. It could be considered also as a branch of the other science, like computer science, math physics, uh, math uh, subject, or uh, computer science is very much dealing with the statistical physics because it's dealing with the data. 
but economy of physics has a different modeling i mean it's a let it's a still a little bit different from the the formal statistical mechanics which we have for the molecules uh, so we we emphasis here that we are using the statistical mechanic techniques but they are as a because uh, we, we are think we are using the principle of a statistical physics and physics is a quantitative science but at the same time we are also using the financial data so we have a we have to understand that how to deal with the huge amount of the data which we receive and economy of physics increased actually recently because recently uh, the process of the data improved very much like the technique of machine learning and the other techniques uh, so economy of physics is not like the ideology a theology or it's not like a, a politics science or like a, a psychology so it's a quantitative science you get so it's a quantitative science and it is very much related to the another uh, old subject which we call it econometrics econometrics was an older subject which is talking about the distribution of budget and what other subject in economics for like any others theory in the physics when you want to study them uh, studied it in the principle you have to make the modeling and what we're talking is a mathematical modeling mathematical modeling means that you have first identify all the partners in your game i mean if there is an interaction between particles you have to specify which particle is interacting with which one and what is the range of the interactions for example it's a long range interaction it is a short range interaction like what we do in the biophysics and chemistry and other subjects. So we have to identify first the, and making the model for that. So for the modeling, we use the traditional economic systems. So and in traditional economic systems, actually there is no any effect of the statistical heterogeneous aspect of the economy. So first, we are using a, a model of the single partner, partner, like in quantum mechanics or modern physics. You already start, you always study the simple model of quantum mechanics for one particle, but that is wrong, actually. That is wrong because quantum mechanics is a theory with the interpretation of many particles. When you send a, a beam of the particles to the target, or if you send a beam of the particle, you never can consider the beam as a single particle beam. You know what is the beam? B E A M. Yes. Sir. So even yeah, it even quantum mechanics is a multi uh, particle system, like many other things. In economy of physics, we use the the system the the models of marketings or exchange models, but then we added the, the multi-partner uh, and the, to the, the huge amount of the data to the model. So mod mathematical modeling is still a single, uh, like a single particle model. Uh, there are a different uh, direction to economic physics and one of the di uh, subject was that when in 1980 it comes like a sociophysics as i told you sociophysics started in 1980 and in the several publications uh done by Sergio Gallam so uh he he, he was the, also the person who as i told you you uh, trying to use the physics law for the sociological problem, like elections. There is a model of parity, for example, for the elections. Before the election end, some model of the, in the sociology are able to predict the result of the experiment, the result of elections. And I studied that in the past. Sociophysics is different things from the economy of physics, and you have to emphasize that in your presentations. 
Sociophysics comes from the merging of physics versus society. And it is even more, even, uh, even uh, before that, the Golem, it was proposed in the 19th century. Argos Comte, and uh, who is the founder of the sociology. Sociophysics doesn't catch uh, much in attention, but uh, later, when the economy of physics becomes more popular and active, some people back to the subject of sociophysics. You will see the the people who are, who work at there. Principle of sociophysics and economic physics are similar, but economic physics focus very much on the economic behavior of the human society, using the more quantity data and using the data, uh, large scale of the data. But while sociophysics study another. Sociophysics studied the broader range of social social issues, as I told you, like elections. But still, economic physics and sociophysics are very close to each other. I mean, there is sometimes we you don't know, but what you are studying, like elections, like elections, presidential elections, it goes to the subject of sociophysics. But you will find eventually that you are using some techniques from the Economic physics. So they are very much uh, related to each other. You will see the references. Still, some people are working on this subject, like Chakrabarti and uh, Chatterjee and those other stuff. They are mainly from Calcutta. So, economic physics and social physics mainly have a one big difference that is that in economic physics you are using the statistical mechanics the statistical mechanics is a subject as you know which developed in 19th century by maxwell by boltzmann and gibbs those people believe that because you have the atoms and uh, the atoms existed, so it is possible to make some mathematical models for describing their large scale behavior and to get some microscopic properties properties of the system using microscopic calculations or using the statistical mechanics techniques. There are so many interesting connections between the, the statistical mechanics and the statistical and social phenomena and uh, there are also some public papers, public articles about the relation of the statistical, physical, economic, physical, and social phenomena like presidential, presidential elections and others. You will see. This study of social numbers. So in the social physics or economic physics, we are dealing with the gathering the data about some things. For example, in social socio physics, instead of the economic physics, you are not talking about the budget or money very much. You are talking about the, to gather the data about the rate of the death, birth, and marriage of the many peoples. The statistic here, is using, and this is very old, I mean, before all, we all, we, people also, the government almost always collected the data about those uh, social numbers. When the statistical science uh, developed in 19th century, so they, uh, they tried to make a similarization between ensemble and something which called a civil state. And to analyze that, they use the subject of a statistic. Popularization of social statistic in 19th century is because of the astronomer Adolf Quill. Uh, before the, the Adolf works, statistic was considered like an empirical arm of political economy. I mean, it was just a study as a roughly estimations of the, the the data which they needed. It has helped the physicists to, to
to develop the statistical mechanics in the second half of 19th century. Later, in, in, in the 1963, the statistical mechanics, the, the techniques uh, developed, uh, which widely used. We are written here a, 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 a term from Ludwig Boltzmann, which he writes about the, the, the essence of the statistical mechanics. Boltzmann writes that the molecules are like individuals. That is very important because by individual you mean human person. And the property of gases only remain unaltered because the number of these molecules which on the average have a given state is constant. He said that as long as the number of the uh, number of the molecules in the system and the gas remain the same, so the, the large scale behavior of macroscopic property of the system remain the change. For example, the pressure is related to the number of the particles. So as long as the end doesn't change, the pressure doesn't change. Boltzmann wrote in his book in 1905 that, and he was discussing this subject with the other people like the Gibbs, because Gibbs was the person also working in the systematic uh, formulation of the statistical mechanics for molecules. And he said that, the Boltzmann said, this opens a broad perspective. So if you don't want to think of the mechanical object, he said that statistical mechanics of the systems can be considered for the molecules. He was not thinking that the molecule is a, is a rigid object, but he always used this subject. I mean, they consider the molecules like a, a particle with a dimension and as a rigid object. Rigid object means that, you know, it is has some rotations, but uh, they cannot make very much uh, uh, interaction in the lower scale, like, uh, the, like the electrons in electrodynamics, quantum electrodynamics and those stuff. So, and Gibbs say that it is possible to use the technique of a statistic in living bodies, society, sociology. So, Economic physics and sociophysics. Sociophysics is the father of the economic physics. They never talk about single particle. They never use any of the law of the physics as a single law, like make the Newton law or whatever. They are using the statistical mechanics techniques, and that's all. Uh, there are so many economical, uh, economic physics subjects which uh, emerged now in the physics and engineering, and many people working on that. For example, people like Wilfredo Pareto. Pareto is the person who was, he did his PhD in engineering, but he actually worked in mathematical science uh, and studying the sociological pro uh, problems. And he is the person, one of the person who gave a model about the money distribution and belt distribution in the societies. This is called Pareto model. He, he was a civil engineering because his degree was engineering, but he collected the statistic data and he finally gave a model for the distribution of income and the wealth, as I told you, the power law, Pareto model. And later, because of that work, he became the professor of economy and physics at Lausanne uh, of the uh, Switzerland. And, but he had a degree in the education, in the engineering. American economist, important person, Erwin Fisher, also was a student of the Gibbs. Uh, uh, we have to mention that the many mathematical uh, tools which we, we use already in economic physics uh, in the that period was the Newton mechanics and classical thermodynamics in that time. What we call it, for example, when they wanted to use the uh, when they want to talk about the balance between the two markets, they consider the balance like what you know in the classical mechanics. 
there is a balance in classical mechanics when the force will cancel each other. The most general concept of a statistical equilibrium use it very widely in the economy of physics. So, so far and after all, both physics and economics work here in the economy of physics, here means that not here in our university in the world. And the and uh, and at the beginning, uh, the the connection of economy of physics to social physics totally ignored by the researchers. For example, you see the statement written by Philip Ball. He said that the two-day physicists regard the application of a statistical mechanics to social phenomena as a new and risky venture. Few. It seems recall how the process originated the other way around in the days when the physical science and social science were the twin sibling of the mechanic, mechanistic philosophy. You say that you already use the technique of physics, but you forget about that the origin of the economic physics is uh, studying of the sociological uh, systems by the physics law. And he said that the physics law and uh, the sociology, they were very similar because they have the same philosophical background. You got it? The philosophical background for sociology and physics, it was the same before quantum mechanics, actually. Because both of them was the deterministic. They are causal. They say that as long as there is a uh, reason, so the causality uh, suggests that this reason, this source, will uh, make uh, make uh, the result, I mean. And there is only one unique way to get the, the results in classical mechanics. If you start your motion from one point, want to go to the second point, as long as we know your initial velocity and your positions which you start your motions, and as long as you know, we know the force which you feel then we can, uh, deterministic, we can tell you that where are you going and wh what time you will reach that city. Uh, it was in uh, 19th century, actually, which when the people trying to make a unified principle between physics and sociology. In 1933, one of the Nobel physicists in the Nobel uh, Prizes in Chemistry, wrote a book about wealth, virtual wealth, and debt. And he was trying to think about the wealth, or the money which the rich people have, from the energy point of the view. And materials, uh, which uh, the money which is exchanging during a market. I mean. He was the person who mentioned that the the exceeded excessive depth and virtual wealth in the community will make a, de a lot of great depressions. For example, in some countries, you know, everybody has a car and everybody has home and whatever. But if you go through their uh, finance, you will see that almost all of them are because of the, they got a, a loan from the bank. Yeah. And we are mentioned here that getting the loan from the bank in the community look, make their make the whole community richer looks like richer, but it makes finally the Great Depression. Are you do you agree with that or not? Yes. Yeah, because you have after all, you have to give also your opinion. Because they will ask you in the uh, final examination also, they will ask you, and you can say this if you say, yeah, you can say yes, it's not, no harm to say your opinion. That's correct. So actually the work of the Saudi again make a motion in the, and the, several years people forget about this uh, book. And finally again, it was a renaissance in 2007 and people back to that. Even Majorana, Majorana is the person who working in the particle physics, you know, we have a fermion, Majorana fermion, so it's responsible for the 
uh, any fermionic interactions. He was also talking about the, using the statistical law to sociological papers. Uh, the statistical physicist Elliot Montreal also wrote a book about introduction to quantitative aspect of social phenomena and the other uh, phys physicists and economics will get interested to his work and trying to use the statistical physics to economic problems. Even some people like, as you see, Fajun and Michael argued that um, many problems in classical politics economy can be solved if you use a probabilistic approach. I mean, using the statistical mechanics can may, maybe also can solve some uh, crisis, political crisis. Uh, uh, in 1980, the Institute of Santa Fe Institute tried to gather the physicists, theoretical physicists and economists to talk about the, the challenge which the world had uh, uh, had at that time, like the battle between the, you know, in the Middle East battle, for example. But they're not very really successful to do that. In 1990, again, they tried to uh, use the statistical physics and social phenomena to uh, to grow up so to grow up the subject of economic physics and social physics okay what we are standing we are standing now uh, the current economic physics subject is the is something which is very much dealing with physics and economics uh the one of the newest work which work uh, which uh, published about uh, to make a connection between physics and economy is uh, the book which is called New Paragraph Dictionary of Economic Physics. <laughs> and we can say that the economic physics is not accepted very much now in the mainstream economies. You get the point? I mean, they not very much economies Economo, economic phys, uh, scientists uh, believe that the economy physics is use a useful subject. They have their own idea and many of them are not familiar with the quantitative techniques. I don't know you had any experience of uh, passing a course in the social science. Well, I had to study social science and management uh, in the university for one year. And I passed several courses of accounting, sociology, and the social behavior, principle of the uh, architecture and the, arch uh, and the insurance and those stuff. So they less uh, count, they less count on the numbers. They less count on the data. They mostly use the, the concepts and they try to justify. It. And that is the reason that in the, economic um, department and political science you don't see very much economic physics for example i suggested to the hod of the economic department here in our university to deliver them a course and he never replied me that maybe he's that one of the those persons or maybe he didn't check his email i don't know uh, no but if you go you will find some journals which they publish Economic physics. For example, this journal Physical A, Statistical Mechanics, I recently published one paper in that journal in the last year, actually in January. So this is one of the leader journals in economic physics. And th this journal also published some paper from economists. But this subject, it is it used to be the subject common between physics and economy. But unfortunately, the economy and social science community didn't accept it very much. There are so many other journals which publish economic physics. Yes. Does there is any application application until now? Okay. Sorry, what? 
does there uh, there is a real application of the econo physics of course stocks markets prediction of stocks markets and improving improving the the models to make the budgets for the country and give the examples of give the best model to distribute the 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 budgets and give the banks a, a better strategy to get the loan to the people to give the loan to the people and so many other applications yeah but you know you didn't you didn't get the point the point is that this subject is very much uh, accepted by the many physicists and some economicals and some political uh, scientists in the higher level but generally the economists they are not very much dealing in this subject because they are not aware about the mathematics very much that is the reason you see yes. but there are some economists there are some economic sci uh, scientists they know the mathematics like differential equation and those stuff but not everybody is familiar with that so not very much people working in a in social physics and economy department and these subjects and it remains still a subject between the civil engineering, management departments, and the physics department, and some people in the economics department. About the publications, some journals like Physical Review Letters still not, don't publish it that. Uh, for example, Physical Review E, is a journal of American Physical Society published some papers about this subject. There are some conference about economic physics, application of physics in finance, European Physical Society, another symposium of colloquium in Calcutta, and economic physics are gathering every year in the several conference to talk about their new results and to talk about the weakness and the strongest point under their subject there is a series conference which is called Avia Asia, which is dealing with uh, very much uh, with the many companies that come there also they are also regularly uh, include some session of economic physics and you can find some more information about uh, the conference on the event of economic physics in this link uh, Many people now doing the master and PhD in economic physics in different countries. And uh, also here, if somebody wants in future can do that, at least I'm working in this subject. So somebody can do that later. All right. Uh, this is the, the first presentation I prepared for you. Okay. I will send and I will ask you to go through it. And this is, that was the, ref, uh, uh, that was the, you see, that was the, review actually of the subject i want you go and uh, yes the so the literature should only be about